Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BTNHD, and today, guys, I'm going to show you how to configure your discovery and boundaries within your SCCM 2012 R2. So we're going to open up our System Center Configuration Manager. Uh, we need to get into the Administration uh, node, and from there, we need to go to the Hierarchy Configuration. So we're going to expand that, and we're going to go to our Discovery Method. Uh, as you can see, there's a bunch of methods that we can enable. By default, there's a lot of them that are disabled. So the ones that I'm going to enable for this video is uh, forest discovery, group discovery, system discovery, and user discovery. So let's right click on the forest discovery and go to properties. And we're going to enable it. Once you enable it, uh, you get two other options. Uh, this is really up to you, but I am going to definitely check automatically create an Active Directory site boundary when they are discovered and automatically create IP addresses, uh, range boundaries for IP subnets when they are discovered. So I want that stuff. Uh, the schedule, I'm gonna run it uh, one week, which is the default. Once all that is done, we're gonna click on apply. You're gonna get a nice little dialog box because I do want to run the full discovery as soon as possible. Just hit yes and okay, that's it. The next one is right click on group discovery, go to properties. And from here, we need to check enable Active Directory group discovery. And what we need to do, we need to add a discovery scope. So we're going to click on the add button and we're going to do a location for this one. We're going to click on browse and the browse, what you want to do is select the active directory container. So I'm going to select this entire thing right here and just press OK. Let's give it a nice little name and the name I'm going to call it is let's let's give it uh, all. Let's do a capital A all uh, my a D groups. I like that. I like that short description is short to the point, right? Uh, and then from here, uh, leave everything as default. We're going to press. Okay. Once you press. Okay. When we're going to need to go into the polling, uh, schedule. And if you want, uh, you could change the schedule. If not, uh, you can leave it as the default, but I'm probably going to check on schedule and, uh, I don't know, let's change it for today. I wanted to do it today and uh, let's uh, whatever time so let's press okay on that let's press apply and i do want to run a full discovery as soon as possible uh, before we do that let's go back into the options because there's more goodies within the group discovery properties and uh, I, i'm going to check this off only discovery computers that have logged onto a domain in a given period of time that's pretty cool i want that and let's also check uh, only discovery computers that have updated their computer accounts, passwords in a given period of time. So that's also good to have. And uh, if you want, you can actually discover the membership of distribution groups if you want. So I'm actually going to check that off and uh, let's press apply on that. And we're actually going to press OK. And the next one we're going to configure is our system discovery. So let's right click on that. Let's go to properties and let's enable that. And within the enable, we need to actually add an active directory container. So we're going to click on this little star right here and we're going to go to browse. And within browse, I'm going to pick the main root and we're going to press OK. okay. And uh, from here, we're going to leave everything as default and we're going to press OK. Uh, you could change the polling schedule. I'm going to leave it as the default active directory attributes. This is really up to you. If you want to customize it even more, I'm going to leave everything as the default. And we're going to go to options and I'm going to enable only discovery computers that have logged onto a domain in a given period of time, which is 90 by default. And I'm also going to do discovery computers that have updated computer account passwords in a given period of time. So we're going to press apply and I'm going to hit yes because we wanted to do it as soon as possible. We're going to press OK and we're going to actually enable our last um, discovery method. So it's user discovery. We're going to right click on that, go to properties. We are going to enable our Active Directory user discovery and we need to actually add an Active Directory container. So we're going to click on the little star. We're going to browse and I'm going to pick the main route and we're going to press OK. And uh, from here, we're going to leave everything as default. So we're going to press OK and we're going to press apply. And we're definitely going to hit yes because we wanted to do it as soon as possible. And we're going to press OK. And to check that it is working, uh, hopefully it's working out for me right away. Let's go into assets and compliance. Let's get into our user accounts. And as you can see, everything is being pulled. Awesome. Devices. Uh, yep, yeah, that's the only devices that I have. That's pretty cool. Awesome. User collection. Okay. Device collections. Okay. Pretty cool. So it looks like it's pre-populating 
with the information uh, that we, you know, again, we enable a bunch of methods. So it, it is grabbing stuff from Active Directory. All right, guys, from here, we need to go into administration. We're going to create our boundary group because in boundaries, we already have uh, an entry point that's automatically created when we installed SCCM. So let's go into boundary groups and we're going to right click and create a new boundary group. And from here, we're going to give it a name. Uh, let's call it uh, BTNHD. Most likely you're not going to call it that, but uh, this is what I'm going to call it. Boundary group. Uh, that's not good. Let's go back into that. Let's delete that. Yes, let's delete that. That's not the one that I wanted. Let's create it again. Uh, BTNHD uh, boundary. There you go. Boundary group. There you go. And then from here, we need to add a boundary. So let's click on add. Let's click on the default first name. Press OK. Then we need to go into references. And we need to check, use this boundary group for the site assignment. So it's this, assi this is the site assignment that we have. We only have one for now. Uh, now we need to assign a site system server or servers. So we're going to click on add and we only have one. So we're going to check it and we're going to click OK. Then we're going to click apply. Now by doing this, we just define which site our clients can get assigned uh, via a boundary group. And uh, we actually have defined their current locations, which is pretty cool. And that's it, guys. That is how you configure um, discovery methods as well as boundaries within SCCM 2012 R2. If you have any comments or questions, leave them at the bottom. Uh, if you can't catch me at the comment section, just catch me at Twitter at BJ Tech News. I'm always answering as much questions as possible and helping you guys out. We're all here to learn together. Uh, don't forget about hitting that like button and because it supports the video and it's as well as this guy. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.